This is the Bloomington Commission update for November 2015. Human Rights. Celebrate American Indian Heritage Month. November is Celebrate American Indian Heritage Month. Quarterly Report. Inquiries. Zero in July, one in August, zero in September. Quarterly Report. The Commission received zero inquiries in July, one inquiry in August, and zero inquiries in September. Exhibit. Tracks in the Snow, Minnesota Muslim Experience Exhibit, October 13th through November 5th at Bloomington Civic Plaza. Community Conversations. Chairperson Dennis Kane attended a community-wide conversation about the relationship between the community and police departments of Richfield and Bloomington. The meeting was held Sunday, October 18th from 5 to 7 at the Richfield Middle School. Program. The HRC will begin to draft its work plan for 2016 at its meeting on November 16th, 2015. Adult member needed. The City of Bloomington is seeking applications on the Human Rights Commission for one adult position. The HRC meets on the third Monday of the month. Applicants are appointed by the City Council and must be residents of Bloomington. Call 952-563-8733 for more information. We can help. If you feel you have been discriminated against in Bloomington, call the Bloomington Human Rights Commission at 952-563-8733. Mediation Brochure. The Commission has a brochure on mediation services available to individuals who feel they may have been discriminated against in Bloomington. The brochure is available in English and Spanish. For a copy of the brochure, call 952-563-8733. E-Subscribe. Keep informed about HRC news and activities. eSubscribe will automatically notify you when updates are posted to the city's website about topics that you choose are important to you. To sign up for eSubscribe, visit the city's homepage at bloomingtonmn.gov. Recorded city message. The after hours message on the city's answering machine has been recorded in Chinese, English, Russian, Somali, Spanish, and Vietnamese. May we speak to your group? Commission members are available to make a presentation or discuss any concerns you may have. Call 952-563-8733 to schedule a commissioner to speak or attend your group. Commission Postcard. The HRC postcard is now available in several languages, including English, Chinese, Russian, Somali, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Get involved. The nine-member Human Rights Commission meets the third Monday of each month at 5.30 p.m. in the McLeod Conference Room at Bloomington Civic Plaza. That's at 1800 West Old Shakopee Road. The public is encouraged to attend. Advisory Board of Health. Duties. The Advisory Board of Health researches and evaluates issues of health and environment and reports to the City Council those issues that affect the city. October 20th, 2015. Nick Kelly, Assistant Public Health Administrator, administered the oath of office to new provider member Sapir Brar. Nick Kelly also provided the board with the City of Bloomington's nutrition and tobacco policies. Karen Stanley, Disease Prevention and Control and Clinic Manager at Bloomington Public Health, discussed accomplishments of WIC, peer breastfeeding, and SAGE programs. The board carried a discussion regarding its role and the actions it can take pertaining to important community health issues. Next meeting, November 17th, 2015. It's at the Bloomington Public Health Building at 1900 West Old Shakopee Road. It goes from 6 to 8 p.m. For more information, call 952-563-8900. Housing and Redevelopment Authority. Upcoming meetings. Tuesday, November 10th, 2015 at 5.30 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Tuesday, November 24th, 2015 at 5.30 p.m., also in the Council Chambers. Approved the 2016 Agency Plan and Section 8 Administrative Plan. Approved the contract for legal services with McGran, Shea, Carnival, Strawn, and Lamb chartered. For more information, visit the city's website at bloomingtonmn.gov. Parks, Arts, and Recreation. New Business. Discuss the Buckthorn Removal Event. Heard an update on the DuPont and Hampshire Hills Parks Improvement Projects. Heard reports from NRPA Congress attendees. Continuing Business. Reviewed the 2016 Preliminary Parks and Recreation Budget. 
heard updates on the Minnesota River Valley Master Plan and the Alternative Transportation Plan update, reviewed the Park Improvement Projects update, City Council action pertaining to parks and recreation, and the Park and Recreation Manager's Report. Other business, approved the minutes from the September 9th regular meeting, canceled the October 28th study meeting, rescheduled the November regular meeting to November 18th with an alternate date of November 17th. Planning Commission, November 5th, 2015. SharePoint Credit Union, owner and user, 5300 Highland Greens Drive, conditional use permit for a limited financial institution in the B1 zoning district. City of Bloomington, 84 parcels in the South Loop, rezone 84 parcels in the South Loop District as recommended in the South Loop District Plan. Eagle Ridge Partners, developer, 9601 James Avenue, major revision to final site and building plans to demolish 30,882 square feet of an existing 84,551 square foot industrial facility and renovate the remaining space and conditional use permit for a health club. Redemption Lutheran Church and School, owner, Verizon Wireless, user, 927 Old Shakopee Road East. Major revision to final site and building plans to construct a 65-foot bell tower with screened Verizon antennas. City of Bloomington, consider approval of draft planning commission meeting synopsis, October 8, 2015, October 22, 2015. November 19, 2015, Bloomington School District 271 owner, Jesus Celebration Center user, 8401 Palmer Avenue, conditional use permit for a place of assembly in an elementary school. Home Furniture, owner and user, 7800 and 7850 DuPont Avenue, rezone from I-3 General Industry Plan Development to C-3 Freeway Commercial Center Plan Development. Major revision to preliminary development plan for a 57,349 square foot addition to an existing 106,111 square foot building. And final development plan for a 163,460 square foot building. That is the Bloomington Commission update for November 2015.